The dreams of humanity lie beyond even the stars. An exploration that forever reaches beyond the horizon. But as we contend with those who would wish for our destruction, we must always remain vigilant, for we can never be sure what we may find. Descending upon Chaldea, Space Ishtar arrives in Fate's Grand Order as the newest five-star Avenger, and is without doubt one of the most powerful servants in the game to date. She has significant farming ability via her area of effect, Noble Phantasm, which can be manipulated into multiple playstyles, even allowing for easy looping boasting a genuinely powerful offensive arsenal even beyond her noble phantasm. Her kit is also to some extent supportive of her allies. Space Ishtar is a phenomenal damage dealer, specialising in wave clearing through her powerful area of effect noble phantasm. Eden Shigura Quasar. Prior to doing damage, it buffs her NP strength by between 20 and 60% scaling with overcharge, allowing her to obliterate her enemies with overwhelming ease. Underlying Space Ishtar's strong performance is an exceptional kit, with her skill set boasting the Holy Trinity of buffs, an attack buff, card effectiveness buffs, and an NP strength buff. Her first skill is Devil's Sugar Rank A, which boosts her own attack by up to 20% for 3 turns. However, its true value lies in its supporting capabilities, granting up to a 30% attack buff for her allies, though not herself, for the same period, in addition to giving them 3 turns of charm immunity. This is paired alongside a solid card effectiveness buff from her third skill, Multiple Starling Rank ES. This has an 80% chance of boosting her Buster, Quick, and Arts effectiveness by 20% apiece, again for 3 turns, with each effect triggered independently. The skill also comes with an invaluable 50% NP battery, giving Space Ishtar easy access to her Noble Phantasm, and helping to facilitate looping, something we'll discuss a little later. The final buff comes via her most unique skill, Venus Driver Rank B, which increases Space Ishtar's NP strength for one time over three turns by up to 20%, in addition to giving her her sole form of survivability, a one-hit invincibility again over three turns. These three buffs, along with her NP's overcharge effect, combine with her impressive base attack to make her Noble Phantasm extremely powerful. However, it is not her sheer strength alone that makes her remarkable. Rather, it is also because of the third effect of her Venus Driver skill, which makes Space Ishtar the first servant in Fate Grand Order, capable of changing the card type of their Noble Phantasm. Space Ishtar is the first servant in Fate Grand Order that is able to change the card type of her Noble Phantasm. This allows for two feasible approaches. The first is to embrace Buster, maximizing damage potential. On the other hand, a better and perhaps more sustainable option is to make it Arts, which is indeed the NP's natural state, as this unlock Space Ishtar's looping potential. Space Ishtar has multiple tools in her arsenal that allows her to facilitate easy NP looping, repeatedly pulverizing her enemies. These include an Arts NP with multiple hits NP gain on her Arts cards, and on her extra attacks as well, as well as her Avenger EX passive, which increases the amount of NP gain she receives when taking damage. However, most notable, is the 50% NP battery on multiple Starling. This battery is integral to maximizing her looping potential. Not only is it a simple way to fill her gauge, but it also enables her to have far greater flexibility regarding support and craft essence selection. When it comes to supports, those buffs that help enable looping should be prioritized, 
These include Arts and NP game buffs and outright NP batteries. Good examples include Jude Leon, Tamamo no Mai, and Parakirsis von Hohenheim. While Space Ishtar can perform well on her own, these supports, including but not limited to the examples I mentioned, really are integral to allowing her to loop and amplifying her damage. Furthermore, Space Ishtar has another tool at her disposal to help her loop, namely the 20% art buff on multiple Starling. However, this is chance dependent, it can miss. Thus, it can be wise to pair her with servants that boost buff success rates, such as Ozymandias, or a very natural support option in the Prince of Lanley. This combination of overwhelming power and easy looping makes Space Ishtar a top tier farmer, despite having class neutrality against the vast majority of enemies. Boasting offensive buffs, a 50% NP battery, and being able to manipulate her NP card type make her a formidable offensive servant, and her flexibility makes her easy to support. A lethal combination. And yet, despite her noble phantasm undoubtedly being the centre of her kit, she does have more to offer. She has solid standard damage potential, bolstered by her aforementioned buffs, her numbers can be impressive, and this is particularly the case on the turn where she uses her noble phantasm. This is because her NP comes with a special bonus. She gets a 100% damage bonus to her extra attack for one turn, along for particularly nasty Space Ishtar Brave Chains. Not only that, but she also possesses latent critical damage potential despite lacking an active critical strength skill. This is because she possesses not one, but two passive buffs that improve her critical strength. However, no servant is perfect. As an Avenger, Space Ishtar only does neutral class damage against the vast majority of classes. As a result, she will often need outside support to really reach her maximum damage potential. Fortunately, this fits her playstyle, especially when looping. Furthermore, as an Avenger, she has exceptionally low star weight, so likely will not be able to attract the critical stars necessary to take advantage of her passive critical buffs. And finally, her MP gain on her arts and extra cards are solid but not exceptional, so again she will need supports to truly loop. However, these are all but minor issues for a servant that is otherwise spectacular. It should also be noted that an arts-based space Ishtar has a bright future, with the arrival of Mysterious Caster A, who will make looping significantly easier while further increasing her damage potential and even offering her substantial protection, something that is always useful on an adventure with limited survivability. Space Ishtar is a truly phenomenal servant whose minor shortcomings are easily solved by supporting options. The ability to loop waves of enemies, while still putting up sustained damage and NP generation output, makes her a truly top tier servant, and I wish the best of luck to everyone rolling for her this Saber Wars 2 event. I've been Seam Dunes, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and check out some of my other videos, such as my recent review of Ku Hullen, potentially the best free-to-play servant in Fate Grand Order. I've been Seam Dunes, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.